Welcome to another edition of Bride Arrays. We are looking at Malachi 2, 10 through 16 today. And entitled this, Where is Your Faithfulness? Now in the text before us this week, we leave behind God's judgment against the priests and the people and their sinful worship of the Holy God. Because the first part was all about worship, really. Love, loving God, worship. It should be should have been obvious to us that God cares about how people worship Him. I mean, He laid it out in the law. He gave uh, all the instructions, and um, I don't think He would have done that if He didn't care. He's not some idol God we have created in our minds that we can worship Him however we want to. He's a, a person. God is a person. He's not an impersonal force. So to worship God is to know Him and to have a relationship with Him. Relationship is at the heart of worship. God desires his people to know him, and his people desire to know him. Relationships only work if both sides know each other. God knows us perfectly, but we struggle to know God because of our finiteness and our sin. Even when God chooses to reveal himself, our sinful nature drives us to exchange the truth of who he is and his will for lies. So worship matters to God. And relationships matter to God because that's at the heart of worship. But our flesh, the devil, and the world says, God doesn't care. He doesn't care how you worship him. He doesn't care how you get to know him. All roads lead to God. All ways are about God. But God does care. Since God cares about our relationship with him, the question is, does he care about our relationships with other people? The resounding answer from Scripture is yes. From the very beginning with Adam and Eve, God demonstrated that he cared about how humans interact with one another. He created the first couple and officiated the first marriage. He made them male and female, brought them together, and he walked with them in the garden. But when they sinned, the relationships were damaged. Something broke in them, and they felt that they were naked. They had broken God's command and were guilty. With the guilt of breaking the covenant with God came shame and the feeling of nakedness. There was fear and anxiety. Before they were naked physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, before God and each other. There was no, there's no hindrance there. There's no barrier there. But with sin came a conscious feeling of shame. But God still cared about Adam and Eve's relationship and his relationship with them. He covered them with clothes and covered their sin with a sacrifice and guaranteed with a promise of one who would ultimately restore their relationship. We think that God does not care about relationships as much as he did our relationships as much as he did about Adam and Eve's, then we bought into the lie and we deceived ourselves. Malachi 2, 10 through 16 shows us that God still cared after thousands of years of humanity about relationships. The Gospels showed how intensely and then how immensely God cares. The prophets and the epistles show that we have to care. We must care. And ultimately, Revelation shows us that God will always care about his relationship with his people and his people amongst each other. And his people will care for all eternity too. And so we must remember that, that God cares about relationship. It affects our worship and affects our relationships with each other. And so if we try to divorce these things out, we end up with a God who is impersonal, who is <clears throat> um, distant, who can be worshipped any way you choose. But if God is a person, and he cares about his relationship with us, and he wants people to know him, then worship and our relationships amongst each other too all have to align with that truth of God, that he is a person, He's revealed himself in three persons to us. And um, and we need to get to know him. And he wants us to know him. So that's where we're going this week. And uh, tomorrow we'll look at verses 10 through 12. And take a look at the first part where the people had bad marriages. <laughs>